To load a substrate, begin by lifting the spindle lock lever to disengage the spindle. Then, remove the first end of the spindle from the right side of the printer, and then move the spindle to the right to extract the other end. Next, remove the blue stop at the left end of the spindle by sliding the lever lock on the blue stop to the unlocked position. Then, remove the stop from the left end of the spindle. Next, rest the roll that you want to load on the loading table. The right stop of the spindle has two positions, one for rolls of the printer's maximum width and another for narrower rolls. Since this roll is narrower than the printer's maximum width, the interior position will be used. Next, slide the spindle into the roll. Then, put the blue stop onto the other end of the spindle and push it towards the end of the roll. Slide the lever lock to the locked position. Next, lift the loading table to ease the spindle into the printer. To avoid trapping your fingers, do not push the roll into the printer with your hands. At the printer's front panel, select the roll icon and then select Substrate Load, Load Roll. Carefully insert the leading edge of the substrate above the black ribbed roller, making sure the substrate remains taut. The printer will beep when it detects and accepts the leading edge of the substrate. Next, select the substrate category of the roll that you are loading on the front panel. The printer will then check the substrate and may ask you to correct problems with the skew or tension. Wait until the substrate emerges from the printer. The printer then calibrates the substrate advance and will then indicate that it is ready for printing.